What's up guys, Rick Denham here, Home Only Outdoors. Welcome back to another Tech Tip Tuesday, and today we are gonna be talking beach fishing cohos with buzz bombs and an easier way to rig these up for you. So stay tuned, you're not gonna to wanna to miss this one. Alright guys, so like I said, we are talking buzz bombs off the beach for coho salmon. We are now the second day after Labor Day weekend. It is September 4th, and what an awesome day to be talking about coho fishing because it is finally happening here in Puget Sound. Beach guys, it is now game on time. We are starting to see our fish show, and this is just from the normal boat catches, but our beach guys are starting to pick them off too, and it's the perfect time to get your gear ready. Go stock up if you don't have it and get ready for an epic 2018 coho season from the bank. Because guys, what's great about coho is you do not need a boat to catch these fish. You can be off the beach and today we're going to talk about one of my favorite ways to do this and that is with a buzz bomb. So for many, a buzz bomb is the standard thing that you either grew up with or you very know well it is a two and a half inch to even larger sizes, but two and a half inch here is the standard buzz bomb that works great for a beach salmon angler. This one in particular is a chrome finish glow back and one of my favorites on the standard buzz bomb size. But we're going to talk a little bit about the buzz bomb, a few other different uh, versions of a buzz bomb and a rigging that will really help you be successful. So the buzz bomb itself is a lead poured lure with a center hole down the middle. Your line runs do down through that, you slide a bead on, and then you put your sidewash hook. And really guys, what's great about this, it's free sliding, super easy to cast, and it's just a simple jigging retrieve and I can show you here, you'll take a look at how easy it is to do that retrieve and be successful. But we'll cover that in another video of Buzz Bomb Retrieves itself. My crazy crack dog dog is running around, but she's excited about Buzz Bombs too. Um, you have a lot of colors out there. And really guys, you can't go wrong when fishing coho from choosing just a few of those. Green is one very productive Glow is another very productive and something with some contrast. Pink always does well and another one of my favorites happens to be a green chartreuse with a hot tip. This one happens to be lime green but glow back. There's a lot of good ones. This is another glow with just a faint green stripe. So very easy, productive. There's another larger size here. This one's all pink, but that's the standard buzz bomb. Came on the market a handful of years ago. It's been a while now, but the rotator is what they call it. This thing came along and really took over a lot of that buzz bomb market. The buzz bomb is still very successful, guys, so don't count out using it. I always have it in my box. I always have it in my boat. They're very productive. But the rotator, when it came along, you can tell has a different shape. And I've covered this in the other beach fishing video for silvers, but you can see the profile difference. They are rotator here is flatter than the buzz bomb, which is more of a diamond shape. And because it's flatter, it really flutters on the fall. The buzz bomb does too, but this is just accentuated as this flutters through the water. So the rotator becomes even more effective because you can retrieve it two different ways. You can cast it out and jig it back to the water column so it flutters. You can also almost swim it like a spoon. So you get a couple different actions, you let the fish tell you what they want. Same wise colors, white and pink for contrast. Green and green is always a very good one. But they have other ones, you know, there's plain white, there's silver, there is green and pink, a lot of different ones, there's even orange. So really, you can go into every color you want, but a handful that I would pick, white's always a good color, 
green, and pink. Can't go wrong with any three of those, whether the buzz bomb or the rotator. So you got that ready. You got to figure out next, okay, what do I want to use for the setup? Because you can rig it straight on your main line, tie a bead like I said, and go straight to your hook and do just fine. But what I have found helps alleviate line twist, especially when you hook a fish like a coho that goes crazy with all the death rolls. You want to have some kind of swivel system. And so what I have done is I usually take my rotator or the buzz bomb and I set it up. I rig it on about foot leader. This is 12 pound test to a swivel. Those hooks are sharp. You put a bead at the bottom and you tie to another swivel. And with that swivel, you tie in your sidewash hook. Now you see a hoochie skirt on here. The reason for doing that is it adds a little bit of color contrast, but it also adds movement in the water. This is an inch and a half hoochie king squid skirt, but a two inch skirt will do just as well. So something like a P line here, um, a lot of different stuff is out there, but that that's what I've been doing and really have been successful. So we're going to quickly show you guys here how to rig something like that up and you can really use whatever components you have because there are really no wrong or right ways to do this. I typically run my buzz bombs with a size 2 aught side wash. 2 aught or 3 aught depending on what I have. Coho 2 aught seems to do very well and you start figuring out ways as you tinker with things but like I said running that foot section of leader with a swivel you can then get set up to be successful so I'm running probably a size 7 rolling bearing swivel right here I got my line 12 pound iser line got a chrome rotator here a bead and then I rig everything with this. And that is my sidewash hook. See if it'll focus here. Focus. There you are. Sidewash hook to a swivel. You can bend that sidewash right onto the hook shank. Sorry, the swivel end. And there you go. You can slide a hoochie skirt over that and it'll keep on top of that swivel and it makes for a great deal. Now an alternative rig to do that would be taking a tube fly like one of these Olympic tackle. This is a trout snack. A couple radical glow beads. Thread it down over the top. It bumps right up to that swivel. Check out that killer rig. Adding flash, adding movement. You still have a swivel here, fish comes to grab this, he ain't going nowhere, and he's hooked. Very productive. You can do that exact same rig, but a hoochie skirt. So that's kind of my tech tip, is adding a swivel to your sidewash hook, like this little guy here, and you'll make a huge amount of difference. Um, movement, the contrast, you can really do whatever you want, but I'm going to quickly show you here exactly how to do this. So I take my sidewash hook. They are an open eye sidewash. You can see there, I take my swivel, throw that right on, grab my plier, and I crimp the sidewash close. Sidewash is now closed. That swivel is not coming off. And I can just fish it plain. I can take one of these squid skirts and I can just thread that swivel up inside the head of that hoochie and continue to pull it to where as you can see here, 
just the swivel head pops out. You can tie your line to that, put your bead on top, and you're fishing. You now have made a sidewash hook with the hoochie, and now you have an effective way to make your buzz bomb or your rotator super duper effective. So guys, I hope this helps. There's going to be so much more content coming with these tech tips because really there are so much fishing and ways that you go after these guys, especially coho, fly rod fishing. I told you that in our last test tank video of some ways to beach fish for coho. We're going to show you guys exactly on the water type footage and instructional of how to get that done. Uh, one of my favorite ways to fish for beach coho is under a float with herring. So that one's definitely one that we'll discuss as well. But we're right at the start of a really good run, the way things are shaping up. So I am super, super excited to get back to you guys with these videos, showcase some fish in action. Um, the piers are fishing good. There are so many opportunities. We also have that big contest going for the giveaway for our 1 million view um, deal with the 3,000 subscribers. So I think it's time now to pick that winner. Um, stay tuned for a video on that. Um, if you guys want to keep seeing these Tech Tip Tuesdays, the Tank Test Thursdays, our Fish in Action videos, giveaways, all those things, first you need to subscribe. Down below here, hit the subscribe button, give us a like on the video. There's also going to be a bell notification. If you hit that every time I post a new video, you're going to be notified. So you're going to have to want to have that. Lots of content coming. And as always, guys, we so, so appreciate you. Um, you can go check us out on our website. Everything's going to in the description below for the buzz bombs, for the materials, the squids, everything. So a couple different rigs for beach fishing, for buzz bombs, and coho. You guys are going to absolutely kill them. And let me tell you, this little hoochie or the little fly, like this guy from Olympic Tackle, add those to your rig and you will be the one catching them on the beach. So, thank you and fish on!